Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about set subtraction. So what is set subtraction? Let's say we've got two generic sets, A minus B. That defines a new set, which we're going to call C. So I'll just run through a couple examples with you, and hopefully that will uh, be enough. So we're gonna define A as all even numbers less than or equal to 10. So this is our set A that is all positive even numbers less than or equal to 10. I didn't say positive the first time I meant to. Um, excuse that little mark I accidentally made there. Then we're going to define B as all positive multiples of three that are less than or equal to 10. So we get three, six, and nine. So then what is A minus B? Well, when you do set subtraction, uh, your set C is going to be all of the elements in your first set, A, except missing all of the elements that it has in common with B. So if we go to construct this set C, we get 2, because 2 is in A and it's not in B. We get 4, because 4 is in A and not in B. We don't get 6, because 6 is in B, so 6 is subtracted, so we don't get the 6. 8 we get, not, uh, and then 10 we get. So the only one we lost was 6 because it was the only multiple of 3 that was in B that we were taking away from A. So the rule is um, when you're doing set subtraction something is an element of C, your sub uh, the result of your subtraction if it's an element of your first set, the set you're subtracting from, but not an element of your second set, the set you're subtracting. So let's uh, do this in the opposite order so you can see that as well. If we were to do B minus A, we'd get 3 because 3 isn't in A. We wouldn't get 6 because 6 is even, so that's taken away, but we would get 9. So B minus A would just be 3 and 9 because 3 and 9 are the only elements that fulfill the requirements of being in B, our first set, but not in A, the set that we're taking away from B. So let me show you just a couple more uh, weird examples so you understand how those work as well. I'll push the paper up a little bit. Sorry for that bloop sound. So let's say we want to do A minus the empty set. What would that be? That would just be A. The set you get from set subtraction is your original set but missing all of the elements that are in your second set um, that's shared with A. So since the empty set has no elements to take from A, our result is just A. Similarly, the empty set minus A is just going to be the empty set because these two sets have no elements in common because the empty set has no elements. So A, you know, doesn't change this set at all when you subtract A from the empty set. So I hope that's helped explain what, sets, what set subtraction is. Um, if you have any more questions or clarifications, let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I